In each of these examples, we're going to be combining signed numbers in different ways. There's some rules here at the top of the page that will help us. We always want to use PEMDAS, which is our order of operations list. When we are combining signs in a series of simplification steps, anytime we have two negatives in a row, that gives us a positive. A negative and a positive in any combination gives us a negative, and two positives will give us a positive. So let's see how these work with the problems below. For some of the problems, we're going to just use kind of formal mathematical operations, and for some, we're going to use a number line approach. In this first problem, 4 plus a negative 3, because I have a plus and a minus together in a row with no numbers in between, I can combine or reconcile those signs. So opposite signs become negative. So this is going to be 4 minus 3, which simplifies to 1. In this case, I have negative 5 plus 8. So it might help me to visualize on a number line. If I am starting at negative 5, if I'm going to add 8, that means I'm going to move to the right 5 to get to 0. That's 5. And then 3 more would move me a total of 8. So negative 5 plus 8 is going to equal 3. In part C, again, I've got a plus sign and a minus sign with no numbers in between. I'm going to reconcile those to be negative. So this is negative 35 minus 20, meaning on the number line, I'm at negative 35. If I subtract 20, I'm going to move to the left. I'm going to continue to move to the left 20 places, which is going to give me negative 55. In this example, I'm at negative 3.5 on the number line. I'm going to subtract 2.1, meaning I'm going to continue moving to the left. So that's going to give me a negative 5.6. And you can verify all of these on your calculator, but just be careful when you do so and include all of the parentheses and notation that you see in the original problem. This one is a little trickier here, negative 1 fourth plus a negative 2. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reconcile the signs. So I have negative 1 fourth plus a negative becomes a negative 2. Then I can rewrite 2 with the common denominator of 4. That's going to be 8 over 4. And if I subtract, I'm at negative 1 fourth. I subtract 8 fourths, so I continue to move to the left. That's going to give me negative 9 fourths. So if I rewrite that as a mixed number, 4 goes into negative 9, negative 2 times, and a remainder of 1 fourth. Last one, if I have negative 2 and 3 fourths minus a negative 1 fourth, I have negative 2 and 3 fourths plus 1 fourth. That means I'm at negative 2 and 3 fourths on the number line. I'm going to add 1 fourth, so I'm going to move to the right 1 fourth. That's going to be negative 2 and 2 fourths, which will be negative 2 and one half.